Hello, it's Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. Many people own smartphones these days, but there are people who only use their smartphones to make and receive calls, even though their devices can do much more than that. So I like to help those people to learn what their smartphones can do and fully use their smartphones. So what is smartphone? Smartphone is a mobile phone which you can not only make and receive calls, but also you can do things that you do on a computer, such as browsing the internet, using email, watch videos, and etc. And simply, you can put the smartphones in the market into two groups iPhone and Android phones. It's based on what operating system. Just think it like an engine of a car the phone is using in order to run the internet or email program on the phone. The iPhone uses an engine called iOS and most of the other smartphones uses an engine called Android. So Samsung Galaxy phones, LG, Google Pixel phones, and Motorola phones are in the Android group. I'm going to mainly use an iPhone 12 on my videos, but occasionally I'll use an iPhone 8 and a Galaxy Android phone to point out the differences from iPhone 12. And if you learn how to drive, you can drive any car, no matter which maker or model of a car you are driving, right? So if you understand and learn the basis of a smartphone, then you will be able to use any smartphone, no matter if it's an iPhone or an Android phone. So by watching my videos, you will learn how to use a smartphone just like you learn how to drive a car. Let's learn what the various pictures and icons on your smartphone screen mean. When you turn on your smartphone, the first thing you see is the home screen. So this is called home screen or home. And each of these presented as a square icon on the screen, the phone, calendar, camera, YouTube, and etc. is called an app. There are apps that are already included and shown on the phone when you buy it, like phone app, calendar app, camera app, and photos app. But some apps, like a YouTube app, might not be on the phone when you buy it. So in that case, you need to get the app you want from a store where collections of apps are available. And this process, you bring the app from the store to your phone is called download and install. So the name of the store for iPhone apps is called App Store. And for the Android phones, the store is called Play Store or Google Play Store. From these stores, you can download an app you want to use on your phone. And the App Store app, like you see here, or Play Store app is always included and shown on the phone when you buy it. Now let's look at the icons shown at the top of the home screen. If you look at the upper left corner, you will see the current time. And at the upper right corner, this one, the vertical bars, indicate how well your phone is connected to your phone carrier network. The more shaded bars mean the better 
the phone connection is, which means it will sound cleaner and better. Here you see only two bars are shaded, but if all four bars are shaded, that means the connection is the best. And this icon in the middle indicates whether your phone is connected to Wi-Fi or not. It's very important to understand about Wi-Fi when you use a smartphone. So I'll explain what Wi-Fi is on the next slide. And the last icon shows the battery level of your phone, how much battery is left on your phone. Okay, so what is Wi-Fi? Let's pretend that you have three computers in your home. And if you want to browse websites and use emails from these computers, then each of these computer needs to be connected to an internet line. So you pay an internet carrier like Verizon or Comcast at home to use the internet line from home. Then the internet line coming into the house is connected to this device called router. And each computer at home can be connected to this router to use internet. So computers and devices at home can use the internet by sharing the line coming from the carrier to your home through this router. And we pay a flat rate to the carrier for this internet line into our home, which means whether you use the internet 24 hours a day or just a few minutes a day with one device or with 10 devices, the cost is fixed. And now let's think that you buy a new computer because this computer is very old. And the new computer is a laptop computer, which you can carry around. So when you try to use this computer at different rooms at home, if a line is connected to this computer, then it's very inconvenient to use. So to make it more convenient to use the internet from a portable device like a laptop computer, the line is removed and the antenna is installed on this router. And this router is now called a wireless router. The wireless router allows a portable device such as a laptop computer to use the internet wirelessly. And this technology is called Wi-Fi, wireless network. Then let's go back to a smartphone. With a smartphone, in addition to make and receive calls, you can do things like sending text, browsing internet, watch videos, things you can do on a computer. To use a mobile phone, you pay a mobile phone carrier like AT&T or T-Mobile, and these cellular phone carriers also provide a service called data service. That's to assist the smartphone user to use the internet from their smartphone. So the phone carriers charge a fee for use of their data service, which is related to the amount of internet use. And that's called data plan. The more data you use, the more you need to pay. And there is a data plan called unlimited data plan, which you pay a flat rate to the cellular carrier to use their internet service, internet data without limit. Simply texting someone and writing emails doesn't use a lot of data, 
But things like watching a video uses a lot of data. So if you do not have the unlimited data plan, and if you exceed the amount of data that you've contracted with your phone carrier, then you can be charged a lot. So to prevent this, you can connect your smartphone to your home wireless router when you want to use internet from your smartphone at home. In that case, you don't use the phone carrier's data service, but you use the home Wi-Fi to use internet. And like I've mentioned before, you pay a flat rate to your home internet carrier, so there is no additional charge for connecting your smartphone to the wireless router at home and use the internet. However, even if you do not have a wireless router at home, understanding the use of Wi-Fi is very important. That's because you will find a free Wi-Fi everywhere. For example, Wi-Fi is available for guests in many restaurants, stores, and public places in these days, like coffee shops and libraries. So if you go to a store and see a sign like this one, that means they provide a free Wi-Fi, a free internet service, which you can connect your phone and use without using your phone carrier's data. So from now on, when you use the internet from your smartphone, remember to connect to a Wi-Fi and use internet, especially those of you who do not have the unlimited data plan. I'll show you how to connect your smartphone to Wi-Fi after I go over some of the basics of a smartphone.